in Switzerland. This time we are in Lax, which is in the canton of the Grissons. We rent a, a two-bedroom apartment for a weekend. Another quick staycation here in beautiful Switzerland. And uh, yeah, let me show you around. We start right here because this is not a closet. You have a little restroom in here. The style of the entire apartment is pretty rustic. There's a lot of wood. There's uh, some some stone elements, which is kind of cool. And then it opens up here. We have a living room on my left hand side with a pretty comfy couch, I guess. On this side, there is a big dining table. And then there, super cool, a fully equipped kitchen. Also in a very rustic look. Um, yeah, we have everything. We have a stovetop, an oven, a dishwasher, a big fridge, a freezer. This one is our own. Is our own coffee machine because they are charging extra for everything. So we had to pay for the sheets, we have to pay for the towels. So I decided to go cheap on that, save the money for the coffee machine and just bring my own. Yeah, that this one's our bedroom. Also completely covered in wood. It feels so cool to be in here. Very nice view. Um, I would call this very cute. The coziest kids room ever. This is so cool. We stayed in a similar place at the Katrina Resort. Maybe re you remember. But I think that this one is actually prettier than the last one. And it feels a little bit more luxurious. The only thing that this place is missing is a balcony. But I mean, we have these huge panoramic windows. So I'm not going to complain. And you can actually sit there and just look outside. But we also came hungry. Very hungry. Very hungry. Because we only had lunch today and we both got up very early, so yeah. we're looking forward to some good dinner. The thing though is, you know, due to different restrictions that are still in place, restaurants aren't really fully opening yet and yeah. definitely not at full capacity. So uh, there are a bunch of ghost kitchens that just started opening up all over the place. And here in Lox, there are a total of uh, four ghost kitchens. One of them is called uh, Burger Baby, okay. and the other one is called Alp. So obviously, Burger Baby for burgers, Yay. and Alp for alpine food. We got the Swiss food. Yeah, of course. It's Pizza a, Or not really Swiss food. It's the uh, it's, it's, it's a local. It's a, it's, a it's a local dish. If I can open it, I'll show you. Oh, it's we... got bacon oh, in no. it. A little mishap here, because um, uh, we have a vegetarian here among us, and uh, she likes these pizza cool. But she doesn't like the bacon. Oh, oh okay. she have ice cream. Yeah, we have ice cream with a brownie. Chocolate cake or brownie. We have some fries here, Yay. which I'll be sharing, I guess. I ordered some bread as well. Oh, yeah, got bread as well. Do you order bread? Mm. Anyway, we have fries. Oh, I have fries. <laughs> mm. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Me too. I'm sorry. Oh no. Fries. Um, fries. Bread. Is that a, a bread? Ah, I know why. What is the bread? Because there's olive oil in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I guess that's gonna be your dinner now. Mm. And I think the packaging is bigger than the food itself. We got a hamburger, Man, actually a cheeseburger. I a vegetarian burger, but I wanted to eat some, some local food, so well, I decided to not go for the burger. Huge burger. Okay. Um, so yeah. Oh wow, that really does look good. I'm a big Wait. burger fan. Oh wow. Very interesting. Ooh, this beer from looks lovely. 
It does. Okay. So, if it does so people, we're gonna dig in now. I guess it's gonna be so good. And because of the bacon and my taco, I'm pretty sure we are actually here because it's our fourth anniversary. And there's a vegetarian restaurant here. So I guess he might owe me a vegetarian dinner for tomorrow. I'll survive it. Yeah, and I guess that's about it. We'll take it easy tonight. Gonna watch some YouTube, just chilling here. Maybe we try the steam bath that's part of our bathroom. I have no idea how this is gonna work. So stay tuned. Food time! Food time! On our way to Flims, we had to stop here because this is the perfect place to actually see, actually get a glimpse of Lake Kalma. Lake Kalma is one of the more famous attractions here in the area, if you're not if you're not skiing. Um, it's summer, well, even though it should be summer by now, but it isn't. <laughs> yeah. um, so whenever it's warm, put it that way, you can actually go down there, you can, uh, you can go swimming in summer, really, really nice. And, um, the lake is divided into two parts. There's a public part that you can visit, and there's also a privatized part. It belongs to a uh, five-star hotel around the corner here. Mm. And uh, there's a small interest fee, but you do get to enjoy all the perks of it. So, yeah, definitely come back in summer when the weather is nice. Yeah, one day. And it's not 2021 where the weather's actually been kind of bad. And even though it's not the best weather today, it's a little cloudy, it's a little rainy, the water looks so turquoise. It is. It is and so cool. There's also something very special about the water. I just read that up there. There was a sign saying that there's no natural inflow or outflow of this river, of this, uh, of this lake. Yeah. That the water is actually pushed from underground, and by the time it actually surfaces in the lake, it's four to five years old. So, really interesting fact. today it wasn't completely sunny with blue skies but it was dry for the most part of the day which is okay what more can we ask for it's still 2021 <laughs> <laughs> 